Okay, before moving on, let's make sure we're all looking at the same view so we're all on the same page. Click on View, um, Frame Default. All right. And let me wheel out here and so I can see my whole snowman. The next thing we're going to, let me deselect. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, make the arm, like uh, the stick that would be used as the arm, you know, the little tree branch that we would find. Um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a cube and modify it. So let's make a cube. Let's pull the cube um, up and away from our snowman here so we can work on it up here. Make sure you're in model mode. Okay. And I'm just going to like guess on what I want here. What I want is like a thin stick to start with. So I'm just like just purely by sight just like trying to figure out like how big do I want this thing. So I can see that it's that's way too wide but if I zoom in here and pan around this takes practice the width looks okay, so let me uh, take a look over my parameters here. My Z width is 4, so I think 4, a 4x4 four four stick is going to look good, so if I change Z to 4 and change X to 4, that looks pretty good. Um, relative to my size of my snowman, it, you know, I think that'll work pretty good. And 200 centimeters looks looks pretty decent. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if I zoom in here, is I'm going to uh, put a little chunk on top of this stick and make like a fork shape. So, and, and eventually it'll look like an organic shape. So I'm going to like add a little fork here. So I have to make this cube editable. Then I'm going to add a chunk to it with the extrude tool. So I'm going to make this editable meaning um, I'm about to make a drastic change on this. So my suggestion would be to save your work so far and, and do a save incremental. So let's do a command S. So, because we're going to be working on this thing, if we mess it up we can always come back. Click File, Save Incremental, and if you look up at the top of your workspace, the, it'll increment to 1, so we're at 003 if you've been following along. Uh, exactly with the videos. Okay, now let's make this object editable. So we can hit the letter C on the keyboard or we can come over here and click this. Now it is editable. And again, the strategy is to add a chunk onto the top of it and using the camera, I'm, I'm using a combination of the pan and tumble thing. So I'm gonna, I want to see the very top of this 4x4 four four stick. I'm going to extrude a little little chunk out of this, just a little one, and then make like a make a fork on the top of it. Use that way, use the extrude tool. I did cover this in the intro videos uh, a little bit, but it's new. There's a couple of ways you can get to the extrude tool. You can click on Mesh, Create Tools, and then you'll find the list of tools here and here's the extrude tool, but you notice it's grayed out. It's because we're in the wrong mode. I didn't intend to do that, but it's a good teaching moment here. To be able to use the extrude tool, you have to be in polygon mode. Okay, so let's hit polygon mode. We were in model mode like we should have been. Now we're in polygon mode. Now if I go to mesh, create tools, I get a bunch of tools available to me, including the extrude tool. I can click on the extrude tool here, but it has its own shortcut, the letter D, because we use it so much. D is for the extrude tool. Another way to get to the extrude tool is if you hit the letter M for menu, you'll get, whoops, M for menu, you get the readout of how to access a whole bunch of tools. So if you hit M, if you look down a list, if you hit the letter T, it'll bring up the extrude tool. All that being said, Easiest thing to do is hit letter D, and here we are at the extrude tool, you get this icon. 
what you're going to do is hover over the very top po polygon, the very top polygon on your stick, click once. You do not have to be on the object with the extrude tool. You can just come over anywhere in your workspace, click, hold, and drag, and just make a nice little chunk like that. And I'll zoom in on it, and hopefully you can see on the screen I just made this little, little piece. Now, what I am going to do is, uh, let me see if I can tumble around here a little bit, is pull and extrude this way, and then we're going to go up. So I'm going to select this polygon on the side along the x-axis, click hold and drag, and I'm going to give myself some room here to work. And I could go another one. I'm trying to think what to do here, what would be best. Um, I think this will work fine. Okay, so let me, now I want to rotate this upward a little bit. So I'm going to hit R for rotate tool. And grabbing only the x-axis, I'm going to pull, I'm going to rotate this up just a little tiny bit. You don't want to overdo it or else you'll destroy the geometry. Um, let me go back to D for extrude and extrude once more. R for rotate and rotate once more. Then I think I can use the move tool to bring this up farther. So I'm going to hit E for the move tool or you can use the move tool. You can select the move tool up here. I'm going to hit letter E on the keyboard and I'll be able to pull this up and pull it over. And let me try to frame this. Let me get hit S on the keyboard to frame this. There we go. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with this. I want to get something like that. Okay, and I think that'll be sufficient. If you want to make it when we make this organic, it'll it'll get pointy. But if you want to hit the scale tool, oops, I hit the wrong. Hit the scale tool, which is the letter T. You can scale this in just a little bit to make a, a pointy object. If you've done, if this is the very first time you're doing this, uh, don't scream in frustration. You'll get it. Okay, now I'm going to um, activate the extrude tool again, D, grab this piece, click hold and drag, and make a nice piece up here like this. Hit the letter T for scale tool, and just bring it in a little bit and make it pointy. And if I want, I can hit the E tool, or E for move tool. And bring this up a little bit, okay. Um, I can move it a little. So that is what I got. So we'll leave, we'll leave that at, we'll leave this video at this point here. If uh, some of that was a little bit confusing and it could have been rightfully confusing, just keep, uh, rewind the video and Take a look at it until you get a shape like this on top of your 200 meter long um, cube, and I'll see you in the next video.